What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with a very quick Byron Munchen pack. We've got Honus Booster, Double Booster, Oliver Kahn, and Roy McCoy. Roy McCoy is brand new in the game. He has never been in the game before, apart from obviously when he was playing. But that's a long time ago, and that was in Pez, not eFootball. So we're going to do just a quick review of these cars and show you the best builds. We will be streaming in a little bit as well. So make sure you join us as we do try spin, maybe, for Kahn and Honus. Not too sure about Roy McCoy, but... This Honus Leds is definitely going to be absolutely broken, man, in my opinion. He's going to be insane. He's a whole player, but he can also play... Let me just hide my webcam here a sec. He can also play right wing, right? Now, with this card here, you are going to have speed, acceleration, physical contact, balance, stamina, ball control, dribbling, and finishing all in the 80s without even training him up. He's 35 levels, right? This is what he looks like in games. Uh, in the game, it's he's 22 years of age, he's a whole player, he's got the shooting booster, and he's got a booster slot for a second booster, he's got soul control, blitz curler, first time shot, track back, fight and spare, pinpoint crossing, this guy has the potential to be definitely end game level, meta beast, meta man, incredible hulk, Thanos, whatever you want to call him man, he can be it, he is insane, now I have the old version of Honus, and we'll do a comparison in the live stream between the two of them, but it goes without saying lads, if you have any old version of a player, the double booster really isn't worth spinning for, in my opinion, because it only gives you a plus one to every single, uh, you know, booster stat, right? So obviously, if you throw on a plus one on him, it's not going to really change the dial on somebody that goes to over 100 overall, right? But we are going to go over here to eFootball DB, and we are going to show you his stats, right, when they actually are boosted up, right? So straight away, he's going to have 35 levels, right? He's going to have the plus two booster to shooting, and of course, if you throw on the manager skill, whatever manager you, you're using at the moment, whether it's Southgate, the Shams, uh, some people are still using old school Pep or Xabi Alonso. But even if you're using any of the new ones like De La Fuente or the Shams, the Shams is probably the most obvious choice for most people. Now, whole players do generally require you to play very central, but we're going to show you two different builds of him, right? So the first build is kind of the recommended build that they're given, which gives you 103 overall honus with the manager boost, with the Shams, and of course with his booster. Now, this does not include a second booster, which goes is going to add a plus one. In this case, we will be given the plus one booster that will bring his tight possession with this build up to 90. Now, I don't recommend using the recommended uh, build in the game for him, and for mostly, you know, none of the players... Reason being, I'll do a video on that if you guys still auto-allocate um, like this. I would definitely like reconsider doing that if you're training endgame meta players, right? Now, we're going to show you, right, with this guy here. We can kind of mess around with this a little bit. The dribbling is probably the most important thing with this with this card. But also, they've also put in four with the auto-allocation into the Fendon here, which there's just no need to do. And that is an issue with the auto-allocation because Konami look to give you the best high-ranked, you know, version of the card. And it just throws stats in other places that, you know, thresholds can't be hit, right? But this card here, I think, is kind of the key to what you want to try and do because you will be able to give a booster to his finishing and tight possession to get pretty much all the stats into that 90 zone and even with the tight possession here or the dexterity or the lower body he kind of has enough in what he's going to be wanting to do with the rest of his stats i mean the speed at 95 is huge the dexterity at 93 it's probably even a little bit too much we can we don't need to go that high but we will get the 85 offensive awareness with it i do think try get the shooting up as much as you can because we've got the 90 finish in there with this build so that's a 7 8 12 8 7 the only difference i would make to this card if you're playing him right wing and i'll go into this if we do spin for him is i probably would take down the passing to like an 80 low pass with all the boosters with everything if you are shooting, 90 is more than enough with the Blitz Curler because you want that. However, with the Blitz Curler, you definitely do want to have his curl about 85. Okay, that is kind of the trick to that. So it's a slight modified build of that. 10, 4, 12, 8, 7. And then, of course, you're going to be thrown on the double booster to get that tight possession up to 90. Of course, you could go the other route as well and throw his acceleration up a little bit or throw his acceleration down a little bit. It depends, but it's a phenomenal card and definitely one of the best that they've released so far, in my opinion, right? Now, also with Oliver Kahn, I'll keep this short and sweet. Mackay is going to be the same. Oliver Kahn looks like an absolute beast as well. He only has 27 levels. So if you have the older version of Kahn or if you have a goalkeeper that's just, you know, doing well for you, he will be a good player for you if you get him. But, you know, for me with Petr Cech, I think Cech is just the best keeper in the game. So it's not going to really make too much of a difference if I get him or not, okay? But again, with the manager boost that you're going to be having here, let's just say with the Shams, and we'll show you really quick here. Uh, with the Shams manager boost and with everything else going on there, 
we're going to get a player that's going to be absolutely beasting, right? So a lot of people ask me, do you need, you know, stats into the 90s, like 99, 100 or whatever? I would say that if you can get a stat over 95, that's kind of where you want to put it, right? So in the case of this guy here, we definitely want his reflexes to be 95. That is kind of the build that I would go with there. Um, you're going to have the, the jump. You don't need to jump as much, but you could take that away if you wanted to. You're only going to give yourself an extra point or two into, you know, goalkeeper clearing, which to be honest with you lads, it isn't a huge, a huge thing, but that is the build that we would probably go with there, which is a one into aerial strength, 11 into goalkeeper one, nine into goalkeeper two and three. And that's going to give you these stats here with the champs and with his booster, which is saving plus two. And then Ryan McCoy, okay? So the thing I like about Ryan McCoy, lads, is that he's actually kind of like an old-school and zaggy-style striker. But he does have some nice stats going on, especially his finishing off the rip. Now, again, with the manager boost, and let's just say that we go with Southgate here, he's going to get an added bonus with acceleration, right? Now, for this card here, the shooting at 94 is going to be too much. You don't need shooting more than 90, in my opinion, unless you can get it to 95. That's the thing. If you can get it to 95, great, but you don't need it. Honestly, if you're struggling to finish with a 90 rated finisher, I definitely think you need to look at the play style. And I also think you need to look at the type of player in motion that he has, his player ID and what kind of, kind of animations he has to, you know, actually kick the ball. We'll go into a video on that and how to score more goals. Uh, we'll do a tutorial on that because that's one area I haven't really been struggling with is scoring. You know, I think the gameplay is a bit more loose now and you do get more kind of chances, right? But the big thing on this guy, because he doesn't have blister and pace, he does have uh, 89 acceleration here. You can give him one more if you want to go that route and give him 91 acceleration or whatever with the booster. Um, or else you can just throw it on with the actual booster that you're going to be getting, which is probably a better idea of where to go with this card. The big problem with these cards, you know, the likes of Inzaghi, the likes of them guys, they don't have great balance. So you do, in my opinion, need to kind of overcompensate with the physical contact. And that's where I would go with this build. Dribbling, I'm not too fussed on the dribbling. Once he has 85 type possession, that's more than enough. He's not going to be running gun to be honest with you. He's not tall enough to be your, you know, main header or main target man. But yeah, it's not a bad pack, lads. Honestly, I think that they're kind of shooting themselves in the full a little bit here because I feel like that these cards are just a dime a dozen. You know what I mean? And I don't mean that in a bad way. He's got good skills, as you see there, acrobatic finishing. Obviously, Honus is the pick with the Blitz Curler, but the rest of the cards in this pack, boys, I just feel like Musiala's a beast. He's got 32 levels, but there's been so many different versions of Musiala that unless you've downloaded the game last week, you're not really going to need any of these cards. Honus, yes, is meta and he is going to be endgame. Can will be endgame goalkeeper if you get him. But chances are, I mean, you're coming up against God Squads every every second game or every game now. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys would like to see me spin. And we will be live in just a little bit. So that is the Bayern München pack. I will talk to you in a little bit in the live stream. Hope to see you there. Don't forget to subscribe. Chat you later.